Hi, Zach. How you doing, buddy? Thought I was done with you? Far done with you. Trust me. I'm only just beginning. Oh, boy. Zach, I, I don't get it, man. Okay. <laughs> Funny part is you really thought I was done with you. You really, really thought. Hmm. Yeah, I was done with you. Guess what? Even after five years, and what happened? I'm not done with you. So, Mr. Zach Sturgill, the owner of Laza Mods in West Virginia. So, I decided one day to go ahead and take a look at his product. I want a PS4 controller customized in the style of Dragon Ball Z. And that's what the product looked like. I went ahead and made a purchase, a nice good purchase of $179.99, probably almost $195 plus change with the shipping. Five years later, I'm still yet to get the damn controller, which is um, a major problem, Mr. Sturgill. And the weird part is when I contact them on Laza Mods, or when I try to contact them, you know, to let them know what my situation is. I've left um, multiple voice messages. I left um, um, multiple messages on Instagram, multiple messages on Twitter. And also, I left the messages on their Facebook. And with that, seeing their Facebook, uh, I see that I am not the only one with this problem. So uh, let's actually get right into that. So um, right there, I am actually right now on the Laza Mods. Um, Facebook page right there. You see Lazamaz LZ LZM Customs. Uh, probably a terrible company. Ever. So as you can see, we get nice looking design controllers, well amazed. And I went ahead went. There's a four out of five based on the opinion of twenty one people. Okay. So here is, you know. Some of the reviews that you see on some people even before during the time when I was trying to get the actual controller or any of the info here. Go ahead and zoom in right there for you. Just in case. So Gemma Phillips went ahead and said they, she doesn't recommend Laza Mods. Terrible. I ordered a, a controller six months ago and it still hasn't arrived. I have emailed a message but still no reply. I want my money back. Nicola Robson, do not order from this company. I placed an order for my boyfriend's birthday. However, he decided it wasn't for him. Within an hour placing my order, I emailed the company requesting to cancel. They ignored my email. Barring in mind, I had been emailing them minutes before they had replied right away. I also clicked request cancelization button on my order twice, to which they ignored as well. I have emailed them five times within a week now asking for confirmation of my cancelization and have been ignored every time. My boyfriend emails them a question regarding their orders. They reply instantly. Then he then asks them about my order and how I cancel them without an hour. Terms and conditions state if you cancel an hour and the, your, the controller has already stated to be built, then you will lose 15% of what you paid. They replied saying you cannot cancel your order as state in terms of condition. This is a company who do not even know what their own terms of condition states. I am now over 122, I believe, euros or dollars and cannot afford to buy my boyfriend another gift due to having no money. This is the most unprofessional company I have ever dealt with. They could not even reply to tell me that I cannot cancel, which goes against their policy either way. Anyway, so guess what, uh, Zach, you, uh, you have terms of conditions, you know, that you obviously don't know about. And you know what's funny? They actually made a golden, a 24K controller for some guy. And then they had like a, a, a state governor come by and like, it's kind of embarrassing. You see, even someone replied like, yes, I will never deal with them again and make sure we spread the word to the game community. Very unprofessional. My controller c came with bubbles and speck of dust in the paint job. 
and customer service will do nothing. We will be sure to tell everyone we game with X with on Xbox Live. Now that's the same lady, Beth Brennan. I received my custom DVZ controller. Many flaws in the paint job, and customer service will not answer me when questioned about it. I will not buy from again. I just said. You know, which there's one person who does recommend recommends it. Putting my order for a custom PS4 controller and is extremely professional and guarantees my order will be sent sooner than I expect. They highly recommend it. So you do have at least some good reviews here and there. But at one point, you see the other reviews is a problem. Huh. Uh, Bryant Horde from Lazamons. One star. Absolutely terrible. I ordered my controller four months ago and contact and contacted the Better Business Bureau. And they called and said they look and now still nothing. It's bullshit. No word the entire time. Wow. Did you file a dispute through your bank? If you didn't get, get it, they will fight it for you. Alright. So, this one Kyle Brown recommends it. You do got some people recommending it. But here's the problem where you got a lot of people, like right here, Rec don't recommend. You have people stating that they don't recommend. You know, you get a mixture of all these type of things, which, you know, which is not bad. But I'm the people, especially one of the people, that will not recommend your product. So I got to a point where I had to go ahead and try to contact Zach via Facebook page, even his personal Facebook profile, even get to a point where someone like his wife, who is actually involved with Laza Mods, especially if you see on their YouTube channel, to actually see if we can go ahead and see, if, try to get a refund or try to get my product back. I even went as far as to go ahead and contact Mr. Sturgill's mother because of the fact that, hey, um, you, if your wife is involved, there's a possibility that even your family could be involved in this business. So I'm trying to go ahead and contact her through that situation. Zach, I have contacted you through many different platforms. You've ignored me. I have, when I contacted you personally through the Facebook page of Lazamont, you banned me from it. On one of my profiles, you banned me. I've even gotten as far as to leave different calls, I mean, my number, send an email, and send all of that. And you know what? You still ignored me. Even on Twitter, you've ignored me. Even to a point where I had Instagram pages, like posts, you know, I had people go ahead and like say that they will do some product and buy some product. And one of those people that say, you know, when... They will buy some product. I warned them of what would happen. You went ahead and went out of your way to contact that person via Instagram message to say that I was a troll trying to, trying to go ahead and scam you. All right. If I'm trying to scam you, then why do I actually have a receipt of purchasing the, the product? And it was dated 2015 and I've yet to see the product. You see, that lady said, oh, we're going to make sure that this whole entire company is seen through, you know, Xbox communities. So let me put this to you in a real way, Mr. Stur. Because apparently your company is massively famous. Around that area in West Virginia, a lot of people know you. They don't know your company. Restaurants there, even a flower store by that area does not know that. They don't know who Lazamaz or LZ, LZM Customs are. So now, this is what's going to happen. Everybody on YouTube. Everybody on Twitter. Everybody on Instagram. Everybody on every platform. Streamers. From content creators. Everybody on Facebook. Everybody that on every platform. Every single platform will know about what Laz Mods is. And trust me, if you don't believe that I'm telling the truth, I will post up the receipt right now. Which even though I saw and sent you copies of the receipt that I had, which it had an order number. And guess what? I've yet to see that damn controller, which I spent $179.99 for. I'm very upset about that. So, yeah, 
I'm still gonna be on your ass, Zach. Oh, and and, and trust me, trust me when I say this, because I've been saying this a lot. I have been giving you chance after chance after chance. So this is my final chance here. I'm gonna give you one final chance. So here's my thing. If it gets to a point where I have to go to West Virginia to literally be said actual um I would say address 329 Church Street, West Virginia, zip code 24293 or 24293 and I have to go in there by myself and and literally demand an actual refund then that's gotta be bad for you you see i even been on the bbc about your company you literally the better business bureau and guess what <laughs> man bro i literally you could put in laza mods you could put anything of that. You could search for a business. You could search for anything. You can, and guess what? It will come up with something, especially with um, with anything of Laza mods, LZM, LZM customs, and guess what? At one point, I looked it up. You had a C. Which is not bad, a C plus on the Better Business Bureau. And guess what? It's it's embarrassing. And you know what? It's it's pretty cool how this product, even looking through it, does look good. And you're gonna start doing product for PS5. I have my Discord channel. I'm the leader on my Discord channel, which you can literally join, Zachary. And you can go ahead and join us. Message me directly. I do have uh, my Twitter, which you can literally join us or message me directly right there because I do do streaming. And with that, you can go ahead and do things like check out or what happened. You can go ahead and send me my product again. Or you can go ahead and do something with my product again. Or even send me back my money. That's what it is. I have the receipt here. I still have yet to actually get the product. But until then, everyone will know about what LZM Customs or Laza Mods has done. And that's not even a joke. Do not do any type of work. Do not any do not even do any type of business with LZM Customs. Or Laza mods until they get their shit together. If they can't, I don't know what to tell you. A lot of people have not received their actual, you know, like their actual um product. And I will be contacting those people personally and speaking to them about the this situation. And it will make it a lot more difficult, Zach. You got you gotta choose, buddy.